the Black Lives Matter movement and its supporters are taking down statues around the world. But how do statues commemorating wars fought decades and even centuries ago factor in? Let's check it out. This is GMF Compact. These statues are symbols of the transatlantic slave trade, during which up to 12 million people were enslaved, which happened roughly between the 16th and 19th century. The vast majority of people of color living in the US and other parts of the Americas today are their direct descendants. And they view such statues commemorating people who built empires dealing in slaves as an insult since they consider today's brutality against black people as an extension of the brutality their ancestors witnessed as slaves. In their words, glorifying yesterday's racist ideologies helps to glorify racism today. And there is no shortage of these statues, especially across the deep south of the United States, designed to glorify this particular brand of racism. Now, after the South lost the Civil War in 1865, which in fact was fought over the very right to own slaves, Southerners erected monuments all over Dixieland in a bid to rewrite history and present a whitewashed version of the past. This intellectual movement was dubbed the Lost Cause. In practice, though, it was a thinly veiled white supremacist movement permeating every fiber of society throughout the South and reminding people of its influence through statues erected on every last square. They even changed school books in the South, making light of the suffering of millions of black people during centuries of slavery. And this is the only history that millions learned in school. And many of those people opposed the civil rights movement in the 1960s, and their children today are seen refusing to treat black people with the dignity they deserve. That's why those statues offend people of color, not just within the framework of the past, but even today. Perhaps if people who are not black also voiced their opposition to these monuments, there would not be such a divisive discussion today. Highlighting the proper historical context is not an act of rewriting history, it is an exercise in truth. And remember, the truth is always out there. 